Hey guys, meet Ahmed, our new interpreter. Why oh, he wants this job? I need the money. Money isn't the reason he wants this job. The Taliban killed his son. This movie offers one of the most important stories of soldiers and interpreters working in Afghanistan. Don't disappoint and turn out to be a pain in the ass. No, not me, sir. Interpreters put their lives on the line for us. They were involved in firefights, dangerous patrols. They did it because they wanted to try to save their country. That's a 24-7 lifestyle. You're here to translate. Actually, I'm here to interpret. The deal was, after the war, the interpreters would end up in America, and this story is about the responsibility to fulfill that debt. I am gonna have to get him out myself. Doesn't matter if you're American or you're Afghan. At the end of the day, everyone wants to do what's best for themselves and their families. For three weeks, this family believed you were dead. We owe that man your life. What's most important about the film is for us to understand how to be there as a country and for the people who have helped us. It is only the right thing to do to say thank you for allowing us to come home and have lives after the war. You think I have a choice? There is no choice. Hey guys, meet Ahmed, our new interpreter. Money isn't the reason he wants this job. The Taliban killed his son. It's a very simple story about two men from completely different backgrounds deciding to do the right thing. For three weeks, this family believed you were dead. We owe that man your life. It's really about one man repaying a debt and how war can induce a form of selflessness. Ahmed and his family are in trouble. I am gonna have to get him out myself. The relationship between John and Ahmed was born out of necessity. But it keeps growing from the circumstances that they face. This movie goes beyond the uniform into the unspoken relationship between two human beings. You think I have a choice? There is no choice.